Storm track weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. Well, we've been dealing with the extreme heat for at least the last few days now. I know a lot of us are done with it, and we're pretty much done with it in terms of what we're expecting throughout the course of the weekend. Triple digits don't look to be the case. We'll see some isolated rain chances really this evening. Kind of already see them across some of our northern and northeastern counties. That cold front will start to make its way slowly but surely heading into the daytime tomorrow. Not fully passing through until we get towards Sunday morning. And with that stalling out, could give us a chance for a few showers, maybe even thunderstorms heading towards tomorrow evening. Not everyone's going to see that rain chance, but once that rain moves out, that front finally pushes through. We start to see some relief from this extreme heat heading on into the second half of the weekend and early next week. Still seeing plenty of sunshine across Emporia, also west of Pika. 97 right now, the dew point at 70 still makes it feel like 104. Dew points in the 60s and 70s, not comfortable by any means. It really does feel like you're baking in an oven when it's this hot outside. Heat index values can Continuing on in the triple digits, feels like 103 in Marysville, 101 in Emporia, 104 for Hiawatha. Manhattan feels like 106 outside this evening. Averages for this time of year, upper 60s, lower 70s for lows, low 90s is our average high. We made it up to 74 to cool down early this morning, 98 as our high as of right now. Not going to see any numbers above average as we head on into next week. And I think that really is the good news. Still could be close to average levels for tomorrow, about 90. And it really depends on where you're located. Some of our northern counties might cool down a little bit uh, faster than the rest of us with that front stalling. And then we see some middle to upper 80s heading on into Sunday. And here's some of that cold air that will start to make its way across the area, kind of just stalling out almost along I-70 there. Some cooler temperatures possible to the north as we go through tomorrow afternoon but some of our southern counties could still hold on to somewhat extreme heat as we start the weekend. Then the front finally makes its way all the way across the area. And these are some of the temperatures that we could be seeing heading on into early Sunday morning and not warming up nearly as much below average in those middle to upper 80s to close out the weekend. And that'll be with the jet stream trying to break its path or pattern that we've seen over the past couple of days and finally see a little change and a little bit more activity in our weather pattern. Maybe a few showers this evening, maybe a few more into tomorrow morning. Very hit or miss. Not everyone's going to see that rain tonight, but cloud cover will start to build in. We'll see a few more showers into tomorrow evening, maybe even a few thunderstorms as that front finally makes its way across the area and finally clearing out heading into Sunday and not going to see too many rain chances heading on into early next week. We'll see cloud cover increase tonight. Mid 70s expected just warm and muggy overall. And finally, we'll start to get some of that break from this extreme heat that we've been seeing. Upper 80s on Sunday, middle 80s come next week, and that'll take us into the start of August. Really not a bad start as we kind of enter the last stretch of summer here. Mid 80s to upper 80s expected for much of next week. So got to get through maybe the next 24 hours or so for some of us, and then we finally get to see some relief. Yeah. I'll take that for the first week of August. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah. You can't complain about those 80s. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, a return to.